Hey friends, Miriam Gilmore here from True Mortgage Lending and I'm making this video today because I wanted to talk to you about mortgage affordability. So there is a lot of speculation out there about buying homes right now because a lot of people feel that the market has uh, gone up, the home values and home prices have gone up. And that is true. So there is a lot of sales going on. So that obviously drives prices up. Um, but I wanted to discuss with you why it is still a good idea and how your dollar can go so much further in today's market because of interest rates. So if you follow the market, you know that the Fed has been dumping a load of money buying mortgage backed securities, which drives interest rates down. And this is why you are seeing all over the place and advertisements and everything, interest rates and at all time low, which they are. So I wanted to break down to, for you the cost so that you can see how, yes, even though properties are more expensive, how your dollar could go a lot further and you could actually afford more house. So for this example, we're going to use a $400,000 mortgage back in 2019. So in 2019, the average rate more or less was about four and a half percent. Four and a half percent, $400,000 mortgage was giving you a payment of principal and interest of $2,026.74. So if you fast forward to 2021 and you look at what current rates are today, so you're looking at about 2.75 for a 30 year mortgage. Now let's jump over to a $500,000 mortgage, okay, at 2.75. Your payment for that $500,000 mortgage comes to principal and interest is $2,041.21. If you compare that with the $400,000 loan from 2019, it's a difference of $14.47. So realistically speaking, for $100,000 more uh, in mortgage, you're really just paying $14 of a difference. So, I mean, it just goes to show you just how much farther your dollar can go with the interest rates that we have at hand. So I want you to keep in mind that with these scenarios, home prices went up about 5% in the last year. Meanwhile, your buying power went up about 20 to 23% depending on the scenario. That's a big difference and it's a lot more buying power. I'm Miriam Gilmore and I'm here to bring you up to date mortgage information to help you make educated decisions for your financial future.